Dipdubs.com, and today I'm going to show you a technique that we learned while I was at leadership in Florida in January called the dip dye technique. And it's really easy, but it's really popular. So you will be seeing a lot of this this spring. But I just have a piece of cardstock here. It's two by five and a half. Um, I'm just going to make a little gift tag or a bookmark, whichever you would prefer. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the crisp cantaloupe. And what you're going to do is you open up your ink pad, and I'm just going to come down and go direct to paper. And you're just going to pat that ink right on the paper. And the nice thing about this technique is it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to make sure that all your lines are covered. The lines, the more lines, the better it looks. And then you just need to let it dry because it's very, very wet. But the dip dye is that you, you know, people do it with their hair and they dip it into dye and it, you know, goes up so hard, far, but not as much. So that's what this is. And I'm just going to set this piece of cardstock aside to dry and I will be right back. Now one of the things about the ink getting onto that cardstock is as it dries, it's, it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take, come in with my tag scallop, my scallop tag topper punch, and I'm going to slide that piece of cardstock right in there till it butts up, till it ends, so it stops at the top, and punch down, and that gives me the top of my gift tag. And then I'm also going to come in with my corner rounder, and just line those up in the corners and go ahead and trim my corners of my tag. I like that finished look of the tag um, of the rounded corners. And then I'm going to show you a little technique they showed us with the butterfly punch, which you're going to slide your punt, your piece of cardstock all the way until it butts up flush with the end of that till it hits the end. And then I'm just making sure that it's somewhat centered. And then you're going to come in and punch, but not all the way through. So you're just going to punch. There's a fine line, and then poke out those wings, and then you've got just the outline of the butterfly. I love that look. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of this card. So I'm going to come in with another piece of crisp cantaloupe and this tiny little butterfly punch, and I'll punch one of those out. And I'm going to add that on with just a little piece of a dimensional. Add that to the middle of my butterfly. Come in with a little tiny come in with the flower that I punched and I'm just going to add that on with just a little bit of snail. And then I'm going to add in a rhinestone embellishment into the middle of my flower. Cute, very cute. And then, if you want to, you can come in with um, the same color ink and a stamp. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this flower stamp from Happy Watercolor and just stamp that around. It just gives it a little bit of texture, and a little bit of color. And then last but not least, this is actually going to be a tag on somebody's Stampin' Up! order. And I'm going to stamp it with a thank you. I'll go ahead and use Early Espresso, ink up my stamp, stamp it on my tag. And then I'm going to come in with yeah, I think I will go this way. And that'll give me something to tie onto the bag. So there you go, just a really quick monochromatic, monochromatic bookmark or gift tag. So thank you and I hope you have a great day.